Hi and welcome to my next Let's Play, which is The Invisible Hours. The only real thing I know about it is it's by Tequila Works, which is the same people that brought you Sexy Brutal. Um, from what I understand on the webs on the store page is that the game has seven stories and you're kind of in a house and you can witness different elements of each story so it's going to be an interesting one it's definitely going to be an education for me um, just give me a moment my googles are just steaming up a bit but yeah all in all I think this is going to be a very interesting game I really liked the let's play that Keith Ballard did of Sexy Brutal. I haven't played it myself, I've just watched it. But yes, um, so it appears I need to pull the lever. Grab my ticket. One. Oh, that's the time now and the date. Fantastic. Delete your ticket. Insert your ticket. Hold. Hang on. There we are. Hold R2, R2 to activate teleport. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like I can change the options about how I get around. The invisible hours. Okay. What are you? Still surprised that there's no option to change the control system. No, left stick does nothing. Um, over here, I'm guessing. Yep, we already sussed that one out. What are you? A play by Tequila Works. Okay, so Gustav. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, that looks like we're coming to the end of it. It's a bit strange it having the credits like this at the beginning. I guess this is the equivalent of the menu system then. Is that it? Okay, so we obviously going this way. Uh, there's the options. 
Voices English. Yeah. Subtitles will help me. Um, probably about there. There, give a bit more emphasis on the voice. Okay, so yeah, it was teleport, fast teleport. Square is rewind, drop, grab, zoom out, zoom in. Okay. Right. Welcome, this is not a game, this is not a movie, this is a piece of immersive theatre with many tangled threats. But remember, the truth is a matter of perspective. Okay, so there's our cast. Chapter One. Okay. So we have time manipulation and press. Ooh. And your resume. Captain, when are you coming back? Captain. Okay, so we pop there. So obviously you're going to be going up there. What on earth? Okay. Oh, so we can have a look at most aspects in it. It's a grand hotel. Um, if we do that, then that. Okay. Any other details? Not particularly. Well, that's not good, is it? Okay, this is going to take a bit of getting used to. So you can be your own director. Um, probably up here. Let's go up there. Ooh, got something going on. Okay, so we can speed him up to get him where we want. Right, so. Let's 
get him over here. Just thought I'd take a look at the detail. Not bad. Nothing else I can highlight for him. Uh, so. Okay, that's the house. Whilst we're in this paused mode. Okay, we've got an outhouse right on the edge of a cliff. Um, a lot of rain. Just that sort of thing. Okay, let's have a look at this construction over here. Oh. There we go. So this is probably who you're going to meet in a second. <laughs> and you're crying. <laughs> Wait a minute. Something over here I want to have a quick look at. Oh, we can just pass through. Okay. None of these knobs are interactable at the moment. Okay. There you are. Probably. Hello? <laughs> Miss? Miss? Are you all right? I'm fine. Excuse me, but the evidence seems to suggest otherwise. Would you tell me your name, please? Flora, could I persuade you to come out of the rain, Flora? Uh, you'll catch your death out here. I don't care. I'm quite certain Mr. Tesla has fresh towels and a nice fire inside. Do you know him? Do I know who? Tesla, do you know Mr. Tesla? Well, obviously you must to have come all the way out here. Is he your friend? Uh, my friend? No. No, I never met him. Then he won't listen to you. He won't let me in. I'm quite certain Mr. Tesla is a man of common decency. Of course he, he'll let you inside. I'll, I'll make sure of it. Please. Okay, up close. You're short. Okay. In twigging. Oh. It is. It's like your own little director. Now what makes you think, Mr. Oh. 
Winslow won't let you inside. He told me so. He already turned me away. He did? Why is this? Miss? I believe this... I lock it. Not quite sure what that is. Anything? Ah, it's this bit that's important. Trying to see if I can make out R F, I think that is. Yes. Oh dear God, thank you. Thank you, I couldn't bear to lose this. It's very pretty. So you were saying Mr. Tesla turned you away? Why would he do that? What's your name, sir? My name is Gustav. You're very kind, Mr. Gustav. But I'm afraid this is a private matter. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's stick with this for now. Okay, hold up a sec. I want to have a look inside the house to see. Oh, crap. There's a broken lever, there's a gun. That's not a good sign. Um, we'll just do a quick check in the area. Uh, up there, yep, there we go. Who are you? Monday. Can't make the letter out. Okay. That should get us close to the door. We have a gong. And who are you, sir? Swan. I think, for now, I am going to stick with the first character that we got introduced with. Because there's a couple of stories, a couple of casts, so it'll be nice to try and track them all down. The door. There we are. It's open. Yeah, there's the body. Mr. Tesla? Is he all right? No. No. Stand back, miss.
Yep, this would be our friend. Um, probably here is going to give us a bit more light on things. What's going on here? Ah, Detective Gustav, I assume. My apologies, I, I didn't hear the bell. You must be exhausted. Sweden is a long way to come from. If you will be so kind as to follow me, I will show you to your room. Stop! Who are you? I... I am Oliver Swan, sir. Mr. Tesla's manservant. You're his butler? Yes, sir. What happened here? What? What do you mean, sir? Are you blind? Yes, sir. Blind from birth. Besides the three of us, how many people in this house? Four, sir. Call them down immediately. Bang the gong. Sir? You're a detective. Bang the gong right now! No, I'm not. But he called you detective. Mr. Swan? Sir? How many exits in this building? Only the front door, sir. But all the windows can be opened from the inside. What's that? That's the murder weapon. Okay, let's have a look at that then. Yep, definitely a lever. Nothing on the ends. Okay. Let's get back over there. Um, a little bit further back. Okay. Why the devil is the dinner gong being rung at such an hour? My God. Is he dead? Mr. Swan, stay where you are. Who are you? Edison. Thomas Edison. Okay, gotta have a look at you then. Yes, he looks suspicious. Uh, do you reckon that that suitable framing? Edison, the inventor. Tesla invited me. Who are you? My name is Gustav Gustav. Gustav Gustav? That's right. The detective so good they named him twice. And who the heck are you? Intriguing. Burn heart. Okay. See if. Oh, we got another one. And you are Vanderberg. So that's three, which means the other gentleman that we found, excuse me, Edison, the other gentleman we found around there, Mundy. Yeah, so that should be everyone. I read about you in the papers, of course. Your downfall was quite Shakespearean. Who are you? I don't know what kind of detective doesn't recognize the most famous stage actress in the world. That's Sarah Bernhardt. The Divine Sarah? 
And you? What's your name? My name is Augustus Vanderberg. I'm Marcus Vanderberg's son. Marcus Vanderberg? The famous railroad magnate? I can't be here. I, I've got to get out of here. Nobody's going anywhere! I can't be here! I mean, what are people going to say? They'll say Tessa had himself an accident. Oh, this was no accident. He died from a blow to his head, and the blood has only started congealing around the edges. This happened less than ten minutes ago. What? What does that mean? It means I'm a murder suspect. We all are. We can't leave him like this. I need to mark the time of death. My pocket watch is still on Swedish time. Mr. Edison, you are an American. You have the local time, yes? Why does he look so old? The time, please! Bella. Go on. Okay. And six o'clock. Exactly six. Yep, that concurs. So what happened to you? Yeah, we're missing one guy. A little bit disconcerting. Ah, there you are, my friend. Let's get a better facial of you. Yep, and you're Monday. Boop, and we're back in. Nobody moves! I hope so. For your sake. The killer's trying to escape. How do we know that? Innocent men don't run. I thought, yeah. So, let's zoom in. Any distinguishing marks? What I think is known as a service revolver, I think. But I could be wrong. Back to the house. Why in God's name didn't he just shoot it? Yeah, I'm on. Stop! Mr. Swan, where's the dining room? That way, sir. And we have a telephone there, too. Keep walking. Well, that was over quickly. Bonsoir, monsieur. I wonder if Tesla has a set of gallows around here somewhere. Nobody is to leave this house. I intend to speak with each of you. And you. Uh, 
That's far enough. Addison's locking up. What's this? My last will and testament. Strange thing to travel with. Every man's journey ends in the grave. I'm just prepared. If you die without a will, then they auction off everything you had. Can I? Yeah. Last will and testament of Victor Monday. I, Victor Monday, direct all that. Oh, gold. It works off the six axis as well. That's a bit disconcerting. Uh, direct that all estate, inheritance and other death taxes shall be paid as expenses of administration upon my death. Any relaying assets to my name shall be left in a hole in my Bellevue Dog Lucky. Signed, Victor Monday. Press cross to read again. Last will and testament of Victor Monday. I, Victor Monday, direct that all estate... Inheritance and other death taxes shall be paid as an expense of administration upon my death. Any remaining assets to my name shall be left in hold to my beloved dog, Lucky. Signed, Victor Mundy. Okay. I won't stand for that. Victor Mundy. That your name? Yep. All right. Why did you run, Mr. Mundy? Because I'm a murderer. Sir. Mr. Mandy is here by invitation, same as you and the other guests. Sit down. Sir, the local police can take charge of this matter for you. Local police? Why not? Phone's dead. Hello, operator. Please connect me to the police, please. Hello, police. This is Detective Gustav Gu Okay. Vanderberg boy drowns. The eldest son of railroad magnate Marcus Vanderberg drowned last night while playing on the ice of Longton River with his brother Augustus. Heir to the family riches, Marcus was often hailed by his father as the better son. Okay. So we have one. We've got three missing people at the moment. You. You. Okay. And we're missing someone. Pop like that. Okay. Scare about there. I'm Yes, it's Swedish. I'm calling from Mr. Tesla's island. There's been a murder here, and I need you to send a boat immediately. Thank you. Mr. Swan, would you please tend to the other guests until the police arrive? Very well, sir. Tell me the truth right now. You said Mr. Tesla turned you away. Why would he do that? I was his assistant. A few months ago, 
He fired me without notice. I came here to beg for my job back. I need money, but he wouldn't even let me inside to talk. You worked here? Yes. You know the house? Right then, take this. Search each floor and report back to me. We only just met. I trust you. I could be the killer for all you know. No, you couldn't. Because when I met you out in the rain, there were no footprints around you. What does that prove? In this weather, that kind of soil, rain takes at least 20 minutes to wash away footprints. Which means that you were sitting exactly where I found you for at least 20 minutes before I arrived. But Mr. Tesla was killed less than 10 minutes before we found him. So you see, you're the only person I can trust in this house. I am a detective. And I will catch this killer. But he just said he did it. Did he? No. You can go now. Please be careful, Mr. Custer. I will. Right, okay. I think that's going to be it for this first part. I think the stage is set. This is going to be very different. Yeah. Let's see where this goes. <laughs>